Clippers Mavericks. Five takeaways from Dallas defensive-minded Game 3 victory. The Dallas Mavericks secured a crucial victory in Game 3 of their first-round playoff series against the Los Angeles Clippers, winning 105-100 to in a tightly contested matchup. The Mavericks' success in this game was largely attributed to their strong defensive performance, which stifled the high-powered Clippers' offense and ultimately swung the momentum in Dallas' favor. In this article, we will delve into five key takeaways from the Mavericks' defensive-minded victory in Game 3. Luka Donich's Defensive Impact While Luka Donich is known for his offensive prowess and playmaking abilities, his impact on the defensive end in Game 3 cannot be overlooked. Donich showcased his defensive versatility by effectively guarding multiple positions and disrupting the Clippers' offensive sets. His defensive intensity set the tone for the Mavericks and inspired his teammates to elevate their performance on that end of the floor. Donich's defensive effort was particularly evident in his ability to contain the Clippers' star players, such as Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. By using his size, quick hands, and basketball IQ, Donich made it difficult for the Clippers' primary scorers to find their rhythm and generate easy scoring opportunities. His defensive contributions were instrumental in limiting the Clippers' offensive efficiency and forcing them into difficult shots. Team Defense and Communication In addition to Donich's individual defensive efforts, the Mavericks as a team demonstrated a collective commitment to defense in Game 3. Dallas players were active in rotating, communicating, and helping each other on defense, which allowed them to effectively switch assignments, contest shots, and disrupt passing lanes. The Mavericks' cohesive defensive effort frustrated the Clippers and forced them into contested jumpers and turnovers. The Mavericks' defensive communication was particularly crucial in limiting the Clippers' three-point shooting, as Dallas contested shots effectively and closed out on shooters with urgency. By executing their defensive game plan with precision and discipline, the Mavericks were able to neutralize the Clippers' perimeter threats and force them to rely on difficult mid-range and interior scoring opportunities. Bench Depth and Defensive Contributions One of the key factors in the Mavericks' Game 3 victory was the performance of their bench players on the defensive end. Dallas received valuable contributions from reserves such as Jalen Brunson, Tim Hardaway Jr. and Maxi Kleber, who provided energy, intensity, and defensive tenacity off the bench. These players embraced their roles as defensive stoppers and made impactful plays that swung the momentum in favor of the Mavericks. Brunson's pesky on-ball defense, Hardaway Jr.'s timely steals and deflections, and Kleber's shot-blocking presence in the paint were instrumental in disrupting the Clippers' offensive flow and forcing them into difficult shots. The Mavericks' bench depth and defensive contributions were crucial in maintaining defensive intensity throughout the game and providing valuable rest for the starters without sacrificing defensive effectiveness. Limiting second-chance opportunities Another key aspect of the Mavericks' defensive success in Game 3 was their ability to limit the Clippers' second-chance opportunities. Dallas was active on the glass, boxing out effectively, and securing defensive rebounds to prevent the Clippers from capitalizing on offensive rebounds and easy putback opportunities. By controlling the defensive boards and limiting the Clippers' second-chance points, the Mavericks were able to stifle the Clippers' offensive momentum and maintain their defensive focus. The Mavericks' commitment to rebounding and securing possessions was exemplified by the efforts of players like Chris Tapps Porzingis, Dwight Powell and Dorian Finney-Smith, who battled in the paint and contested every rebound. Dallas' ability to limit the Clippers' second-chance opportunities forced Los Angeles to rely on their half-court offense and limited their transition scoring opportunities, ultimately tilting the game in favor of the Mavericks. Clutch defensive stops and execution. In the closing minutes of Game 3, the Mavericks showcased their defensive resilience and execution by coming up with clutch stops when it mattered most. Dallas tightened up their defense in crunch time, communicated effectively, and executed their defensive game plan with precision to thwart the Clippers' late-game scoring attempts. The Mavericks' ability to get crucial stops and secure defensive rebounds in the final minutes of the game was a testament to their mental toughness and defensive prowess. Players like Josh Richardson, Willie Colleystein, and Trey Burke stepped up on the defensive end in critical moments, making key stops, contesting shots, and forcing turnovers to seal the victory for the Mavericks. Dallas' ability to maintain their defensive intensity and execution in pressure situations was a key factor in their Game 3 triumph, 
and demonstrated their growth as a defensive-minded team capable of competing with the best in the league. In conclusion, the Mavericks' defensive-minded Game 3 victory against the Clippers was a statement win that showcased their ability to compete at a high level on both ends of the floor. Dallas' defensive intensity, communication, bench depth, rebounding prowess, and clutch execution were all key factors in securing the crucial victory and taking a 2-1 series lead. As the series progresses, the Mavericks will look to build on their defensive success in Game 3 and continue to stifle the Clippers' potent offense with their defensive prowess.